Rock Marks com Dust2 Brasil para falar com o Flop Complexity estreou com vitória na IM Katowice. Flop, Apex was coming hot, coming from the planes, already played a lot of maps, but you guys were able to stop them. Talk me a little bit into this game in this 2-0 victory. Well, after watching the the big Apex game yesterday, I think uh, one player that stuck out to me was Nock. I think Nock basically saved them that entire series versus Big, so to make us uh, end up playing them instead. So I think playing Apex is I, I really wanted to play Big because those are my bros, because you know German passport gang. But um, nah, I mean they obviously played really good against Big, and um, yeah, we just played a little bit better than them today. And they also played good on Overpass, which we haven't seen in like two months from them, because. You know, roster changes and stuff like that. So it was a pretty, pretty good game. What do you think it was the big difference from map one to overpass? Because you guys look at more safe in, in map one, let's say. In overpass, we almost see a complexity during the game at the end, 2v4, then uh, you guys lost on the eco. What was the main difference between the two maps? Uh, yeah, I think Vertigo, we definitely had a little bit more prep for. And we were just a bit more focused for the first map. And then the second map, we kind of griefed like four rounds, basically. Uh, I mean, obviously, they capitalized on us playing really poorly on some certain rounds. But yeah, um, I think they also had more prep on us than we did versus them. So I think that definitely helps in the end. And you say that two days you guys had to stop now tomorrow. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if it's tomorrow or the day after that, but you're going to have to stop Dunk. How to do that? <laughs> uh, it's going to be fun. I don't, I don't want to get donked, so we're going to have to do something about it. <laughs> Um, I mean, facing team spirit, of course, here there's I, there's no such a thing as choosing who you play for. Basically, all the teams are top tier teams, but are you confident that Complexity can once again beat uh, Spirity? I think it's going to be a, a tough game for sure. I think Spirit are a really good team, so we're just going to have to give it our all against them tomorrow. Perfect. Uh, I mean, if you look from the outside, Complexity is the only non European team here. So you guys had to spend some time in North America playing RMRs. Didn't have like exactly the same time as some of the other teams had to prepare in Europe. Do you think this will make a big difference? Like teams that could boot camp in Europe for more time would be more prepared for this tournament than complexity. Also, do you feel a little bit of pressure when you are kind of representing half of the world here? Um, uh, good questions. Um, personally, like it, in terms of like practice in NA and like playing events in NA, I think the hardest part is just dealing with like the week of jet lag coming from NA to, to EU every time. But we also had blast before this, so we're here for a little bit, like maybe like two weeks or so. So during that time, we're just adjusting to jet lag and trying to get as much practice in as we can. So going just from one tournament to another, it's just like, it is a little bit difficult in, in that regard. And uh, being the only NA team left representing, uh, it's, uh, I mean, me personally, it's not too much pressure, but I obviously want to, want to, Make uh, make this team as best as possible to represent NA. So we're gonna just keep keep trying our best. Um, in Brazil, we have this discussion all the time about like being away from your family, having jet lag, a lot of these problems. I know Complex is one of the most vocal teams. I always see your manager speaking about uh, how many days you spent at airports and stuff like that. Uh, is there something that you think the team uh, is managing better in, in the last months or at least the last tournaments? You guys. Are more uh, prepared right now, like more able to to spend, to divide this time with family and time uh, playing or at least practicing. Yeah, I mean that's definitely the hardest part about representing NA is just literally not being home like ever really, except for the tournament break. I I think I see my family for like maybe six weeks out of the year, and I'm in a hotel for like 240 days out of last year. So it's just, and if I'm not in a hotel, I'm at an airport and or at a you know hotel for just a boot camp at. So. It's it's definitely hard, but it's just something we have to deal with being an NA team, and uh, it is what it is. And inside the server, Complexity it had a like picket during IM Sydney, like almost got the championship. Since then, it's kind of ups and downs. Um, how the team feeling right now for this tournament and for RMRs maybe and the, the tournaments that are close to us? Is the team more confident that you can be the same team that you guys were in Sydney? Yeah, I think we can be. We just have to show it. It's simple as we haven't been playing uh, our A game, especially against uh, in Atlanta. Uh, it was just a pretty much bomb out event for us. It was just bad. So I know we can play a lot better than we, we've shown at those events. So we can do it here at Kato as well. I'm going totally outside of Katowice now because I know you've been one of the most active and maybe proactive players in doing feedback for Valve, even the least and 
uh, to some things you said. It's kind of different approach from most of the players, not most, but some players I think that are just saying shit about the game, not caring uh, and giving proper feedback. Is that something important to you? Why do you do this way and not like just crying on Twitter like everyone else? Uh, honestly, it's kind of like a last hope kind of thing because I don't know, they don't reply to anything I say either. Like I'm kind of just tweeting as well, but like, I've emailed them. I've tried following each Valve dev on, on Twitter as well and DMing the CSGO main account and it doesn't, I get no response. So the only response I can ever get is seeing whatever Valve end up updating and just no words said from devs, which is, it's really disappointing because at this point I still think the game is in some sort of beta state because sometimes you can't even like boost your own teammate and the game's been out since, what, September? So it's kind of ridiculous at this point. So uh, I think it's just, it's just dumb. It's just pretty stupid to me. Um, you had the some kind of similar situation when you go to play Valorant. It was also a game who was starting a little bit more time than CS2, but do you think the way uh, they care about the game is too different from Valve? And do you think the state of CS2 is bad uh, when you compare to Valorant? No, I think CS2 is still better than Valve. Uh, I think Valorant is just like, it's just not my type of game, to be honest, like that, that sort of style of it. But the biggest complaint I had in Valorant was just the Peaker's Advantage, which is what we're seeing in this game as well. Like the Peaker's Advantage is just dumb and it's known. And there's just a variety of different reasons why, but uh, I don't know, it is what it is.